Luka Doncic is unhuman. Now, the Mavs record is not the best, only 19-15, and 15, which is good enough for 6th in the West, and is much better than last year, but he has dragged this offense to the number 10 offensive rating in the league, as well as scoring the 7th most points. Now, he does have his co-star Kyrie Irving, but Kyrie has missed 16 games, so for the other 18 games of the year, it's been the Luka Show, and the Luka Show has not disappointed a single soul. On the year so far, he's averaging 33.4 points per game, 9.3 assists, and 8.4 rebounds. Incredible numbers. Joel Embiid, Luka Doncic, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Three best scorers in the NBA right now, and it's not really a dispute. 49, he's doing it on 50% from the field and 40% from three. 35 and a half points per game on those efficiency numbers, and he's not a free throw line merchant like some people. 1.3 steals, now he has 4 turnovers, is a bit much, but Luka Doncic is setting the league on fire like we haven't seen since like a Michael Jordan, young LeBron, but young LeBron wasn't even this efficient. Uh, this man, Luka Doncic, is insanely efficient, and they had a really good offseason as well, which is what we're going to talk about next, which has helped them to this 19-15 and 15 record. Three of their top six scores this year were added in the offseason, the first being Derek Lively, who has had a bigger off- or bigger impact on the defensive side of the ball than offensive, where he's, you know, as you look at the team as a whole, they've gone up five spots in both total rebounds and blocks on the year. Uh, now, he's averaging nine points per game, which isn't exactly setting the world on fire, but he's also averaging eight rebounds, 1.4 blocks a night on 73% shooting, and he's only playing 25 minutes a game. So as those minutes go up, so will the blocks, so will the points and rebounds, obviously, it's looking like a home run pick because he's 19 years old being a day one instant impact starter on a team contending for the playoffs. Now, Derek Jones Jr. has been pretty solid as well. 10 points per game for him, a little over 10 points per game. 3.8 rebounds, 47% from the field, really nice. Would love to see that three-point percentage go up one or two points. Uh, and he's shooting at 24, or he's playing 24 minutes a game. So overall, a solid season from him. He's an underrated defender as well. Uh, so you got him on the wing. You got Lively on the interior. You also have Grant Williams, who is a solid defender. He's their X Factor, their dog, their glue guy, if you will, uh, in their own the interior and on the perimeter at times. 8 points, 8 points per game, 3.6 rebounds on 42% shooting from the field, 38% from 3, 29 minutes a game. Overall, Grant Williams having a really nice year as well. Um, He's been an elite three-point shooter, or was to start the year. He's kind of slacked off a little bit, but 38% is still not bad. They have all these three-point shooters around Luka Doncic, and it's making it a lot better. Um, The offense has been elite so far this year. Well, not elite, but it's been top 10 in both major categories. Now, Omax Prosper will come along as the season progresses. He's a guy that is going to be known for his defense, a really long athletic defender that can shut you down at the point of attack, and he is perfect for this Mavericks team. Seth Curry's still only playing about nine minutes a game, but he is shooting it 42% from three, um, and he's scoring about five points a game in those nine minutes. So, He's starting to get up there. Maybe they get him into double digits in terms of minutes before long. He's a guy that can really help them. And then Rashawn Holmes, the final addition they had um, in the true offseason. He was just a depth add. And then they bring in Dante Exum, who has been huge for the Mavs this year. He was signed right before the season started just as another depth guy. But he's turned in a pretty solid season so far. 9.3 points per game, 3 rebounds, 3 assists on 58% shooting from the field. 45% from three in 20 minutes. Who would have thought it, but Dante Exum needs more minutes for this Dallas Mavericks team. So if you're enjoying today's video at any point, before we keep going here, make sure to like button, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. As you can see here, a large majority of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel, so if that is you, go ahead and change that right now. Now let's go ahead and continue on here, looking at Kyrie Irving. He's coming back from injury, and it couldn't be at a better time. He was you know, starting to progress and play better and better before the injury. Uh, He had his early struggles, but now he's back. On the year, Kyrie is averaging 22.5 points per game, 5.2 assists, 4.1 rebounds, and 1.1 steals, turning in yet another solid year, which is yet another consistent solid year on his, at this point, long NBA career. He's shooting at 47% from the field, 39% from three in 32 minutes. The dude is just solid overall. Um... And once he comes back, it's going to make the Mavs offense that much better. Now, 
Tim Hardaway Jr. The Tim Hardaway Jr. problem. He's been inefficient, yes. But he has been scoring the ball. He's been doing what they need him to do, which is come in and get buckets off the bench. Now, he's shooting at 41% from the field, 35% from three, which is not good at all, and it needs to be brought up. But he's averaging 17.5 points a game, four rebounds. He is the guy, after Luka Doncic comes out, that keeps this offense afloat for the majority of the time. Sixth man of the year, I don't think so. He's been way too inefficient, but he's giving you nearly 20 points a game off the bench. Maybe you give him a little bit of a pass on the inefficiency part. Uh, the other backup guards consist of Jaden Hardy and Josh Green. Jaden Hardy on the year averaging 7.6 points in 15 minutes, which, you know, you look at that on the surface and it's looking good, but the efficiency, woo! 37% from the field, 36% from three, not the worst thing in the world, but it's still not very good. Uh, it's kind of league average, under league average, honestly, by a couple points. And then Josh Green, on the other hand, he's averaging 6.7 points, 2.6 rebounds, 2.5 assists. If we're being honest, Dante Exum kind of came in and stole a little bit of both of their minutes, which stinks for them. But, hey, Dante Exum is that dude, apparently. 42% from the field, 37% from 3-4 Josh Green in 25 minutes. So, more so kind of stole Jaden Hardy's role this year than Josh Green. But Dante Exum has been really good, man. Looking at the standings in the Western Conference, it is a tight race. A really tight race. You got the Timberwolves and the Thunder as the two best teams. Um, and, and the Nuggets. Those are the three best teams consensus. They're kind of in their own league. And then you got the Clippers, who have been hot. The Kings, who just somehow lost to my Hornets. But other than that, they've been hot. You got the Pelicans, who have 20 wins. The Mavs, the Suns, who have won four in a row. It is a tough Western Conference. And they're going to need Kyrie back, and they're going to need to go on a little run. It starts with sweeping Portland, and then you got to go win a big one at home against Minnesota. You can do that. Then you get Memphis, which shouldn't be too hard. Yes, Jaws back, but, man, you should have lost that one to the Jazz. Not going to lie. Overall, they should probably win their next four games. If they win their next four games, they are looking good. Um, after that, you got New York and then New Orleans twice. But, hey, a seven-game homestand, not bad. The big game there is going to be Minnesota. If you win that one and you take care of business and the rest of them, um, I'll, I'll give you – if you can go five and two over your next seven games, they are in a really, really nice spot, sitting at, what, 20 – 24 and 17, that, that's a lot better than 19 and 15. Um, so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But, man, Luka has been incredible this year. 35, I mean, the, one game he had 50 points and 15 assists. That's accounting for at least 80 points, depending on how many of them were threes, which is crazy. I don't know how many assists the night Kobe had when he had 82. I imagine it wasn't too many. But that, that's, that, that is insane. Luka has been one of the best offensive weapons in the NBA this year. With that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy it at any point. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching today's video.